Hello, welcome to another Tuesday Tip. I recently read a book by Pete Babler, a former Delta Force commander. The title was The Mission, The Men, and Me. Besides telling some intriguing stories about special ops deployments, his book was about leadership. This caused me to reflect on how his leadership values translated to our jobs as pediatric dentists. For a special ops unit, the mission is the thing that takes the highest priority, often regardless of the cost. Then, as a leader, Babler was focused on his team and keeping the unit on mission, not distracted and safe. Not until the mission and the men were squared away did Babler think of or consider himself. You know, although I've never served in the armed services, I have such a deep respect for those who have served and who are serving, and especially for those that put themselves in harm's way on a regular basis. The idea of mission and teamwork above oneself is so important. Just this past week, Houston, where New Smile was located, was hit by a freakish winter storm that took out power for several days and hampered the operation of the business. While the mission of producing products was stopped for a while, the mission of handling customer service calls continued. But of equal importance was that of New Smile's leadership. Early on, calling the team together, encouraging them to be safe, making sure their families were taken care of, and using this incident to boost morale as best as was possible. We don't need freakish winter storms to do this in our offices. Our mission needs to be clear in our team's mind daily. My office mission statement is, creating smiles for a lifetime through friendly, efficient, quality care. The mission, taking care of children and their families in an efficient, friendly, high quality way, should supersede everything that we do. Secondly, as owners and leaders, we need to ensure that the morale and the spirit and the cohesiveness of our team remain strong and focused. And finally comes us. As owners and leaders, we often have to sacrifice a lot to ensure that the mission and the team are addressed properly. Maybe that means seeing an emergency patient over lunch, or taking some extra time to coach up an underperforming or distracted team member when we'd rather be getting home. However, at the end of the day, when the mission is accomplished well and the team has performed well, the rewards to the leader come in both tangible and intangible ways. Let me leave you with a few thoughts. Is your daily mission well-defined? Can you and your staff articulate it? Is your staff cohesive and focused and on mission? And finally, are you subordinating yourself to your mission and your team? Leadership is tough, but strong leaders reap many rewards. That's it for today. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.